Our tropical storm Uwan, also known as Fung Wong, is moving over Taiwan today. And we have a new invest, 91W. It's a broad trough located towards the south and east of Mindanao. Nothing indicates at this time becoming a uh, a strong storm system. Maybe a low-pressure area, and if Pagasa really wanted to call it a tropical depression, they could. But at least at this time, look at the ECMWF keeping this just as this broad trough, increasing shadow. Hours for Mindanao and parts of Asais, but once again, nothing indicates this becoming a strong typhoon. I can't stress that enough. Been asked this a lot, and I understand the worries and fears behind it. There's an area of convection there. A lot of people putting AI slop out there and showing like a big storm, but they're not actually showing the real satellite. And this is what it looks like at this time. An area of convection, it's far south. It's so far south, it's about one degree north, which one of the main ingredients in tropical weather forecasting, of course, you need you need the rain, you need moisture, you need warm sea surface temperatures, you need an area of convection, and you need Coriolis. And this is just near the equator where it's lacking in Coriolis. So that's why I really don't expect this to spin up southeast of Mindanao. Um, you even see here on the left the spaghetti plots for the ECMWF. Look at that. Is it it, there's nothing there. It, it, it's, it's struggling. And then the GFS on the right, that's the more aggressive one. And even then it struggles. Uh, for example, at, like a week out prior to Uwan, you had like just this tight, legit consensus between the, the different ensembles. And even the deep mine showed something. It shows absolutely nothing. And we see our SpaghettiOs, GFS, kind of has a few circles right in there it, there is nothing that indicates a a big storm out here so the fact that it is an invest area i know at first glance you're going whoa hold on robert you said there was not going to be a storm i still stand by that i still don't think that you know you're not going to get a name storm and if you do it would be a weak tropical depression but with that said, Cebu doesn't need more rain. They're still recovering after Tino. The last thing you need is additional precipitation here. East coast of Mindanao, there could be spots over the next five days that see upwards about 50 millimeters. Um, even in the Cebu, you can see some scattered showers increasing in the second half of the week. Nothing indicates typhoon, but at the very least an increase in rain, which... It's not fake news to say that there's going to be an increase in rainfall out here. So there are a lot of people posting there's a low pressure area, invest area. It's not fake news. There is something there. But there is a difference between that and a new super typhoon coming. It's not. I can't stress that enough. It's not. But still be ready for the rain. All right, so here's Fung Wong. Where is that now? That's also not looping back towards the Philippines. It's dissipating out over Taiwan, increasing rainfall for our friends across Taiwan. In fact, here's a look at your forecast. Slowly drifting back into the PAR. Could bring some windy conditions for northern areas of the Patanas Islands. They're under a signal force warning. But uh, big thing is showers into Taiwan. It's also interacting with the northeast monsoon and creating some heavy rainfall for parts of Japan. In fact, they actually had evacuation advisories and spots into Okinawa because of the heavy rain. More or less a shear line out ahead of this just like that due to the interaction with the moisture coming in from the south and the northeast monsoon. But if you look at this at the same time, does anything show a big storm down here towards the south? No. It's just an increase in showers. If anything, we could see something develop maybe by the weekend out towards uh, southern areas of Vietnam with the same tropical wave as it works its way towards the west. So one, here's your storm towards the north. And then two, the ITCZ with that easterly wave traveling along it, increasing showers for parts of Mindanao. Smack in the middle, though, a bunch of Luzon. It's actually going to see some drier weather. In fact, let's take a look at our flyover. So for Thursday and the Friday, increasing showers here across Mindanao. That includes places like Shargal, Tacloban, Cebu. Not a typhoon. <laughs> I can't. I don't know how many times I got to say that. Not a typhoon. Um, but rain. In hit areas from Tino, so I, I get it. I get it that you don't want more rain. I get it, but an increase in rain. But look back towards the north sunshine in Manila, Subic, San Fernando, Da Baguio, the Cagayan Valley, which is still draining. We still got flood stages in the river there. So, the last thing you need is more rain. Um, but yeah. 
at least uh, it's improving towards the north. I say it time and time again in all of my updates. Know your information through official sources. Somebody sarcastically posted on one of my posts here and said, just trust Pagasa. And you know what I always say? Yep. Pagasa, they're doing a great job. JMA, JTWC, trust them. They got teams of people. Westpac Weather, we have teams of people. But a lot of times, look behind me. I'm in my spare bedroom. <laughs> so... I'm a meteorologist. I got experience and everything I try to relay, but I also use their information and relay it to you in a more digestible manner, in my humble opinion. Um, but I try never to deviate from what Pagasa is saying. So I agree with you if you're like, don't listen to this guy. I want to listen to Pagasa. If you're doing your research and you're looking up what they're saying, you're doing the right thing. You're staying informed and you're staying educated. And that's my goal in all of these updates. It's not the hype. It's not to ward on you. It's to educate and inform so you can make proper decisions about what you're going to do with your forecast and your life plans, I guess. So yeah, for now though, of course, it's an invest area out there, but I'm only I'm concerned about an increase in rain. I'm not concerned about a typhoon. And Tropical waves this time of year are not uncommon across the southern Philippines. They happen every five to six days. We all know that, right? So that's the big thing. But there's just so much misinformation right now. It's really frustrating. But it is what it is, right? And that's what we do here, and uh, we try to inform. So as always, thanks for watching. And a shout-out to all our new subscribers, our new Patreon members. If you just recently subscribed, I would love to hear from you. Let me know where you're watching from in the comment section down below. As always, though, thanks for watching. And, of course, stay safe out there, all right, friends? That's the number one thing.